This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Former Paintsville Tiger and member of the Unforgettables, John Pelfrey, will be on the call Saturday for Kentucky and Ole Miss on the SEC Network. The Mountain Legend making his return to the place he once called home. There are a few Kentucky basketball players statewide and in the mountains that are more beloved than Paintsville native John Pelfrey. As the 1987 Mr. Basketball winner and three-time participant in the Sweet 16, Pelfrey etched his name in bluegrass lore long before he arrived at Kentucky. But add in his five years spent with the Wildcats, Rump Arena holds a special place in his heart. No, it's good. This is a special place for me. Um, you know, I, I, was, I was a Kentucky fan here first in this building. I was a high school basketball fan. It was a state tournament. I uh, had a chance to play seven games here in high school. Had a chance to play five years here in college. Numerous trips as an assistant coach, even a couple times as a head coach. Um, first time as a broadcaster. A former head coach at Arkansas and South Alabama and assistant at Florida, Pelfrey is now trying his hand at broadcasting, and while the current gig is fun, he is not ruling out a return to the sideline. You know, as of today, absolutely. I think it's, uh, I feel more prepared than I ever have been. I certainly want to be a head coach again. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. This is good right now, and, and who knows? I never thought I'd be doing this. I may like this so much that, that I don't go back. Who knows? But, but uh, yeah, as of today, it's still something I, I, I want to do and try again. Pelfrey is not able to visit Paintsville as often as he would like, but the former Tiger star still remembers where it all started more than 30 years ago. Because Paintsville is that's still home, you know, just like Kentucky is still home. And, and um, you know, my high school coach, Coach Ryan, is still coaching back there. And um, I got a lot of childhood friends that, that are, are, those relationships are, are, are still important. From the mountains to the rafters, from the bench, to the broadcast booth, John Pelfrey will always have a place in Kentucky basketball. Cats and Rebels, 7 o'clock Saturday on the SEC Network. The college football playoffs kicking off today with just one of the four teams making a repeat appearance in the national semifinals. That team, Alabama. Mark D'Antonio in Michigan State in the Final Four. Tom Izzo knows a thing or two about Final Four. Spartans facing Alabama. Alabama has a Heisman Trophy winning running back, but Jake Coker going to the air 50 yards to Calvin Ridley down to the one yard line. And speaking of the Heisman winner, here he is. Derrick Henry on cue finishes the drive with the one yard plunge, 7 0 Crimson Tide. Spartans driving late second quarter, but Connor Cook picked off by Cyrus Jones at the one yard line. This game currently in progress, and in the fourth quarter, Alabama all over Michigan State. 31 to nothing. Dabo Sweeney and number one Clemson taking on Bob Stoops and number four Oklahoma in the earlier national semifinal game. Sooner strike first. Samaje Perrine runs it in from one yard out. 7 nothing Oklahoma in the first. Clemson facing a fourth and four. And punter Andy Teasdall throws across the field to Christian Wilkins for a gain of 33 yards and a Tiger first down. Later in the drive, Deshaun Watson on the quarterback draw gets into the end zone for the five-yard score. 10-7 Clemson in the second. Oklahoma answers with a Baker Mayfield touchdown to Mark Andrews. But Clemson shuts out Oklahoma in the second half to advance to the national championship game. 37-17 the final score. The Cleveland Browns were hoping to get a good look at Johnny Manziel heading into the offseason. But once again, they will have to wait. Manziel has been ruled out of the team season finale versus Pittsburgh after suffering from concussion like symptoms. Following last week's loss to Kansas City, Austin Davis will start on Sunday and the players are confident in his ability to lead the team. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal because uh, they all practice every week. We practice with all of them, so we get familiar with all the quarterbacks and we have total confidence in all of our quarterbacks. I don't think there's any issues for us no matter who's back there. The way the uh, NFL handles concussions now, uh, you have to be have to be prepared to go in a situation like this when someone's experiencing uh, symptoms like Johnny is. You got to be um, kind of just have to assume that he's going to be out and then adjust if he's not. The college football playoff national semifinals weren't the only bowl games going on today. The day started in Atlanta. Tom Herman and Houston, Jimbo Fisher and Florida State, the Peach Bowl. 
in Atlanta. Cougars going deep into the playbook in the second quarter. The reverse pass and DeMarcus Ayers hits a wide open chance. Allen in the end zone for the 20 yard score. 14 3 Houston still in the second quarter. Greg Ward Jr. on the QB sweep crosses the goal line from six yards out. Cougars now up 21 to 3 on the Seminoles. But here comes Florida State. Sean McGuire deep downfield to a wide open Travis Rudolph waltzes into the end zone. But the Houston Cougars hang on to win the Peach Bowl 38 24 over the Florida State Seminoles.